I grew up in a place where, you know, most people don't get a chance to even play an instrument or to make it out of that neighborhood or people that live their whole life on a block, you know, and some miracle that I've been able to play a part in this of getting, you know, these stories out. In my music, there's a lot of messages. I want people to take away that there are people that are not being represented. Like, you may see black women on TV all day, but that is not the full scope of what's happening and being represented, and we are missing a large part of the story. Nothing. They never move. Nothing. What physics? What possibilities? They never move. The instruments are, you know, very special to me, but the main instrument is myself. I spent so much time, like, dreaming about making music and, like, my imagination of even pretending, you know, in my room, I jammed out. I was in a band by myself, you know what I mean? Like, so anytime I'm on an instrument, I'm just like, that's me, something is coming out. Listen to that. It's like you don't have any friends once you hear that. I use sound as an agent of resistance. I do these durational performances. I did one about domestic violence and sexual assault. And it was amazing because women from all over was contacting me like, yo, I left my house that day and like no one like criticized my body. So I just thought that was just like amazing that you know you can use sound as a form of resistance and you can use sound to help people that you may not be connected with. Alice Coltrane spiritually influences me. You know, the struggle of Nina Simone and Billie Holiday, it influences me a lot. And also Sun Ra, who tried to deactivate the um, atomic bomb, definitely influenced me to say, hey, if I can get a space and intentionally, you know, direct the, the soundscape and my intentions to where it want to go, it can do some positive change. When I perform, I'm just like on stage, I'm a little nervous, I'm smiling. But as soon as the music plays, it informs me of what I'm doing at that moment. So the music kind of like shifts me into another world. The first part of my set is poetry. So I need something that's also just as intense, that can be just as intense as me. They say in quantum physics that there's unlimited possibilities in the world, you know? And I feel like um, we can change anything we want. <laughs> <laughs>